shoes are on the devil. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have talked about some tough stuff this weekend. Yesterday in the Friday event, and today we've gotten into some heavy-duty subjects. We've talked about the fact that there is a solution to absolutely every burden, every heartache, every pain. And as we've heard from you this weekend during our breaks, we know that you're carrying some burdens. God knows those burdens. God loves you in the burden, through the burden, and beyond the burden. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of discovering a verse in the Bible you've never read in your life, and you wonder if it had just been written that morning between your first and second cup of tea. Because this morning, I found a verse for us. You and me and the burdens that you may be experiencing. And God has this to say to you as you anticipate a brand new day, however and whenever you experience. God said this in Isaiah 54, 10. For even if the mountains walk away and the hills fall to pieces, my love will not walk away, not walk away from you. The God who has compassion on you says so. You've got him. Whoops. You've got it. <laughs> he loves you. He will not walk away from you. And when the God of the universe says it, that's the truth. Rest. Grin and giggle. When you grin, I find myself grinning back at you. I love your smile. It's absolutely radiant. We've talked a whole lot about dancing this weekend. And if you're like me and have two left feet, that can be just a little bit intimidating. So I wanted to share a brief story with you. I was at a conference just a few months ago, and for some reason it was not full of dancing women. They were actually kind of stiff. But I felt compelled to teach on the last two songs, which are all about dancing. And they actually weren't very responsive to this message, but I just felt compelled to teach it. At the very end of the conference, this woman came up to me and she said, I was really surprised you, you chose to end the conference with that message on dancing. And I said, yeah, I kind of surprised myself too. And she said, well, I was surprised because about two weeks ago, when I was just spending time with the Lord, she said, I, I very clearly heard him say in my spirit, I want you to learn to dance with me. And she said, you know, because I'm black, people assume I'm a good dancer. But she said, I've actually never been much of a dancer. She said, my sister was the dancer and I was the piano player. So she said, when God whispered that to me, I felt, I felt kind of awkward and self-conscious. And she said, this morning when you were teaching about dancing, I very clearly heard God's voice again. And this morning he said to me, don't look at your feet, look at my face. And I want to encourage y'all with that, that same message. If you feel a little rhythm challenge in the next couple of days, don't worry about your footwork. Just move in to the embrace of the God who absolutely adores you. Look at his face and just let him lead. Thank you so much for allowing us to be with you.